Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Financial Management. We are doing a chapter of ratios. We are going to be doing every MCQ that is there in the module, but of course with the logic of each and everything. So when we are doing this chapter, I request that whenever you are watching the videos, before I say the four options, you should try to pause the video and comment the correct answer. That will give you good confidence that your answer is correct or not. Already for costing, we have already put every possible MCQ which is there in the module on our YouTube channel. I request you all to go through playlist of each and every chapter. So let's start it off. What is the question for today? Which of the following is not part of quick assets? Okay. Now the question that comes, what do you mean by current assets? Uh, what do you mean by quick assets? We will wait for that. But four options in this case are disposable investments. Okay. Uh, B, receivables. Receivables means debtors here. C is cash and cash equivalents. Okay, almost like money. Then D in this case are prepaid expenses. Please comment the correct answer below at this time. So, now the simple thing. What do you mean by quick assets? Quick assets are part of current assets which are say realizable within quick time and that is why they are called as quick assets. So quick assets in this case are basically realizable current assets. Now one thing that we always say stock is not a very realizable stock because you will have to sell it okay and we don't know in what time we can be selling. See as such there are no rules but then like you know for the problem solving for your uh, study purposes we try to be thinking like this that any asset which can be realized say within a period of couple of months or say three months okay uh, can be called as a quick asset. So therefore four options that are there disposable investments disposable investments are basically those investments that you must have purchased from stock exchange okay. So therefore, like, you know, these investments can be sold. You can get the money within two or three days here. Okay. Be debtor. See debtors, you have already sold the goods. So that is not a uncertainty. And usually the credit that you will be uh, giving to your customers will not be five months or six months. So within like, you know, it'll be around say a month or two. So I guess even this money is realized. Okay. Within a short period of time. See cash and cash equivalents. Okay. So cash equivalents could be anything which is almost like cash. It could be say bank. It could be say demand drafts that you all have with you. Okay. Or say some other uh, foreign exchange currency that you all have with you. So these are almost like cash. Yeah? You, you can go to the bank and get them converted into rupees. Okay. So now first of all aim of doing this particular thing is to find out which assets are not convertible into cash. Now I have explained uh, three of them. So obviously answer is going to be the last one. But then I will be explaining. See prepaid expenses. Understand this concept. Suppose I have a policy of prepaying my electricity bill. I pay electricity bill to Adani company who supplies us the electricity for 12 months in advance. I pay them say 1 lakh rupees. Okay. So that is the electricity bill for the next 12 months. I thought they can keep on deducting from there. Now suppose in middle I thought no yaar, I have paid them more. I'll tell them to refund. Beta, they will not refund because you have already prepaid. Prepaid expenses cannot be converted into cash here. It is mostly not possible to be converting prepaid expenses into cash. Okay, so therefore, they are current asset for sure because within one year, you had to be paying them. So you are paying them in advance. It is your asset for sure, but definitely it cannot be converted back into cash. Okay, so answer should be D. That should be the correct answer. Yeah, that's the correct one. Thank you. Bye.